There are people who hate Islam. You know that. That hatred is based a lot of the times on ignorance. Ignorance. Because of that, they hate the Prophet ﷺ due to that ignorance. I'd like to put it at ignorance. I don't want to get it further because I've seen people who've hated and later on they became Muslim. Okay? So we don't want to say anything besides ignorance. They're ignorant. So one of the Dutch MPs, senior, senior guy in the political hierarchy, he decided to fire up something called draw a cartoon of Muhammad 2018 sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Right? And the competition is on. A'udhu billah. May Allah protect us and may Allah guide everyone. What will it do to us? It is provoking us. That's what it is. Provocation. Someone telling you we're going to draw dirty cartoons and it's my right to do it. We tell them, my dear brother in humanity, you're making a mistake. You don't know the messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You don't know Islam. You're blaming a faith that has promoted peace over the centuries by looking at a few issues that have affected you and perhaps those around you and a few others, and you're blaming two billion people. And on top of that, the messenger, peace be upon him, who brought about a lot of the goodness that we have today from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I'm talking of as mankind. A lot of what we have today is taken from Islam, whether you like it or not. You might be ignorant, but it actually is. So we say, my dear brother in humanity, we'd like you to rethink that position. You are inciting and provoking people to do that which nobody on earth wants, and that is violence, that is hatred, that is enmity, that is warfare. We don't want it. The Muslims are being killed more than anything else. Take a look at the millions that have been killed within the last... 12 years, 15 years. Who killed them? Go back and check. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. May Allah strengthen us as an ummah. May Allah grant us wisdom. So the reaction, how should it be? They will keep on drawing their cartoons, but I want you to consider something. When they harmed Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in ta'if and in his life, in his person, he reacted with a beautiful dua. He reacted in a calm way. As a result, they turned to Islam wholesale. I guarantee you, my brothers and sisters, from this pulpit of Friday, here in Masjid Al-Quds in Cape Town, I want to tell you every time they have drawn cartoons or come out with blasphemous videos, Scores of people have turned to Islam as a direct result of what they did. I guarantee you that is what has happened and keeps on happening today. It's very difficult to enter the fold of Islam because it's difficult to be a Muslim the way we're looked at with the eye of skepticism. But there are people against all odds turning to Islam. Because they saw a cartoon, they saw a video, they decided, you know, we know so many Muslims, let's go into it, let's study. So these videos and cartoons have actually made people want to look into the reality. When they went into the reality, they said, this is the truth. Wallahi, I know people personally, personally, not just one, but many, whom this has happened to. But when we react with hooliganism, we are now vindicating those who are saying Islam is a barbaric faith. Therefore, my call and my plea to you, my beloved brothers and sisters, from the bottom of my heart, I am telling you, when you see negativity, please react in the wise way. Ask yourself, how would Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam react? He would not make astaghfirullah. I don't even want to say it. He wouldn't do anything negative. So, yes, we are provoked. Yes, we will be upset. But be proactive. Use the opportunity to educate people. Give a little pamphlet. You saw those cartoons? Yes, I did. Well, I just want you to read about the person they're trying to blaspheme because Allah says in the Quran, Inna 
O Muhammad, peace be upon him, you are way beyond everybody else in your rank, in your status, no matter what anyone does against you, to mock at you, to try and make a fool of you. They will only be making a fool of themselves. They will be mocking at themselves. Your status is engraved. It's already there. Nothing will change it. That's a guarantee of the Quran. Allah tells Muhammad وسلم, we have protected your reputation from the mockery of those who want to mock. Subhanallah. When they mocked, what happened? It destroyed their reputation. Not Muhammad Wasallam's. More and more people are following him. I want to give you another piece of good news. I don't believe my half an hour is up. <laughs> if it wasn't Jumu'ah, I would have probably lengthened it. But my brothers and sisters, a powerful example I want to give you right now. It makes me shiver when I think my brothers and sisters, do you know the population of the globe at the moment is more than it ever was before? Do you agree? And the population of Muslims on earth who make sujood for Allah is more than it ever was from the beginning of humanity to this day. I promise you, don't lose hope in the mercy of Allah. The deen of Allah is solid. It is strong. Yes, we do have problems. We will manage them by the help of Allah. We do have crises. Do not be despondent. We do have splits. We do have disunity but by the help of Allah if we keep on reminding people of our duties unto one another to speak with each other with respect to be able to react correctly when things go wrong when things don't go the way we'd like them to go then we will definitely be serving the deen there is a lot to hope for look at this masjid my brothers and sisters I want to let you know the masjid is packed to capacity isn't that a sign that we are connected to Allah why lose hope? This is the house of Allah. We are about to put our heads on the ground for Allah. I'm going to put my head on the ground, inshallah, for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, not once, but so many times. Whereas those magicians at the time of the Prophet Musa alayhi salam, they were evil people. But when they turned to the deen and when they made one prostration, not two, not five, one, prostration for Allah. Allah says we wiped out all their sins, granted them Jannah in return. If one prostration could wipe out everything they did, my brothers and sisters, I've made thousands of prostrations. May Allah accept at least one. So have you. So have all of us. Smile. There is hope. Allah is Rabbun Ghafoor. Allah is most merciful. Allah is the most forgiving, the most beneficent. And I end off with the same statement, my brothers and sisters. Let's learn not to react in a negative way to anything that happens to us.